sociopathic. Tenth standard exam is coming. So for this map is a very important question, five mark question. So map very easy, one mark for outline and four, three mark, four marks for the location of the places. So let us study about the map today. So India map. So how to draw outline map of India? The basic thing is, see here, Andaman Nicobar how to draw, it's compulsory. Lakshadweep how to draw. And the direction is important one. And then the places, which are the main places we have to locate. See the mountains, let us take first mountains. The highest mountain peak, Mount Everest. It lies between India and Nepal, sorry, China and Nepal. And the highest mountain peak in India, that is Mount K2, that is here. So always how to locate the mountain in the triangle shape. Mountain should be in triangle shape. And if it is the mountain range, then how to locate with the series of mountains or with the shape. So like this how to locate. So Mount Abu, Mount Abu range is there, that is in Aravali Hills. Aravali Hill range is here, see friends. Aravali hill ranges, here comes. And in the Aravali, Mount Guru Shikara is the highest mountain peak in the Mount Abu range. So Mount Guru Shikara here comes. And then, Western Ghat. Western Ghat come here, just shade here is enough. Shade this area is enough. And it is continuous. Remember this one, Western Ghat continuous. And Eastern Ghat is not continuous, away from the sea, just here see. You have to draw like this. These two mountain ranges, they join at Nilagiri. It is Nilagiri Hills here. And in the Nilagiris, so here in Kerala it is called as Karamam Hill. It is Nilagiri Hills here. And here in the Western Ghat. Uh, in the south, south India, the highest mountain peak, Ane Mudi. Ane Mudi coming here. In Annamalai range, Ane Mudi is there. And in the eastern Ghat, Armakonda is the highest mountain peak. Armakonda coming here. Armakonda. Yes. And then Vindhya and Satpura mountain ranges. Vindhya mountain range here comes. And Satpura here. This is Vindhya, this is Satpura. Okay. So this is mainly the main mountain ranges and mountains we have to locate. Okay. And then, next we have to see the ports of India. Important one, ports, seaports. Which are the seaports? Total 14 seaports are there. Uh, see one, Kanla. Kanla here. Mumbai and another one Navasheva or Jawaharlal Nehru International Port. Yeah. And Marma Goa. Here New Mangalore Port. Cochin. Into mark. Always places you have to show with into mark or plus mark. Don't show it with a dot. And then Tuti Korin here. Chennai, Ennur, Ennur here, then here Vishakapatnam, Paradeep, Haldia, Kolkata, and Port Blair. So these are the main ports. This much if you know, especially not only for the map, here eastern and western ports separately have to write for three marks. Kanla, Mumbai, Namasheva, Marmagova, New Mangalore Port, Cochin in the western coast. And here to be Korean, Chennai, Ennur, and here Vishakapatnam, Paradi, Paldia, uh, and Kolkata. And here Port Blair in the eastern coast. These are the ports mean. Okay. And in the coastal region, and another one you have to remember, wherever you locate, there only you have to write the name. And in the question paper, they are giving A, B, C, D. Don't write A, B, C, D here. Validators, they don't have the patience to check that one. 
only four places you have to locate that's why you have to write there only and see another one coastal region western coastal region divided into here in the kerala malabar coast so you have to shade this area or you can use a flower bracket you can use flower bracket and you can show that this is the malabar coast and in karnataka it is the kenra coast it is kenra coast and goa and maharashtra it is a konkan coast this is konkan coast malabar coast kenra coast konkan coast and in gujarat gujarat coast this is the western coast eastern coast divided into only two one here southern part is the southern part of eastern coast region is called as koramandal coast this is koramandal coast and here in the northern part of eastern coast is called as northern sarkars or utkal coast northern sarkar or utkal coast so this is a coastal region okay so this much main one then another one commonly in the soil it is coming question from the soil black soil or they may say black cotton soil or they may ask about the regar soil region having regar soil that is here you have to show one region having regar soil that is here comes this is the area having regar soil or you can show this one also in gujarat these two areas having regar soil or black soil okay and so area showing like this yeah next another one we have to show another very important one multi purpose river valley projects multi purpose river valley projects very important one and here in punjab across the river satluj multi purpose river valley project uh, friends you have to show like this one small river part and two dash that is a dam you have to show like this with multi purpose river valley projects don't show with the dot so here bakra nangal dam bakra nangal dam here bakra nangal river valley project and damodar river valley project comes here in west bengal damodar river valley project and here hirakud mahanadi across mahanadi hirakud river valley project yes and the narmada river valley project here comes and nagarjun sagar across river krishna nagarjun sagar here and upper krishna upper krishna coming here uh, just uh, in uh, northern part here comes upper krishna and the north karnataka it is a tv dam tungabhadra dam comes here so this should be so another one here you have to remember instead of asking bakra nangal dam they may ask govind sagar if they ask govind sagar you have to show this Uh, dam and if they ask pampa sagar you have to show this one tunga badrada in karnataka you should be, it should be if it is inside karnataka north karnataka they will give the mark don't worry about that so these are the multi purpose river valley projects you have to show yeah so this is about multi purpose river valley projects next we have to show latitudes and longitudes so friends here latitudes and longitudes remember see the main two uh, Uh, here are three three latitudes and three longitudes they will ask one the latitude which divides india into two equal halves that is a topic of cancer or 23 and 1/2 degree north latitude that passes here so this is the 23 and 1/2 degree north latitude don't forget to write n north it's very important and another one time meridian That is 82 and a half degree east longitude. That is here through Allahabad. It is coming here. This is 82 and half degree east longitude. Long is longitude, flat is latitude. And the other one, geographical center, geographic center of India. Here 82, 80 coming here where 80 degree long, uh, longitude comes, which cross the 23 and a half degree there comes geographical center okay 
So this is about the latitude and latitude. Here the one, here it comes one latitude comes here, 37 degree north latitude coming here, and through Kanyakumari or Cape Camorin, 8 degree north, and southernmost point of India that is Indira Point in Great Nicobar Island, there 6 degree north latitude passing. So remember, southernmost point of India is Indira Point. Northernmost point of India, that is Indira Coal. This difference you should know. And here longitude comes. This is 69 degree east longitude, 97 degree longitude here crosses. So the location of India, there you studied. So this one sometimes they lost. You should know that. Okay. And other than that, some parts, especially uh, Park Strait, Commonly, Park Strait means everyone show the Pakistan, not that one. Between India and Sri Lanka, this area is, you know, there is Park Strait. Here you have to shade and write Park Strait. And Gulf of Mannar, Gulf of Mannar here, this area you have to shade and this is Gulf of Mannar, friends. Gulf of Cambay coming here, Gulf of Cambay, this is Gulf of Cambay. Ran of Kutch, here comes. Okay, and with that, you know, all resources from that lesson also they may come. So, Bombay High, main one, Mumbai High or Bombay High coming here. Mumbai High or Bombay High, 110 kilometers away from the Mumbai in the sea, in Arabian Sea. First one, first oil well, Dig Boy in Assam, it is here, Dig Boy. Okay, so like this it is coming. And another one you have to remember uh, international airports. International airports, wherever it is, that place you have to remember, especially Delhi, Kolkata, uh, Hyderabad, uh, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Tri uh, Trivanandapuram, all these places you should know. But the problem here, they will not ask about Delhi International Airport. Indira Gandhi International Airport, they will ask. You should know there is a Delhi. So, like that, you have to study, then only you can locate the place. Okay? So, Andaman Nicobar Islands and Lakshadweep Islands, you have to locate. So this is the main thing in the map. If you know this much, almost all the points you will cover and you will get out of our mark in this map. Okay, unnecessarily don't write the places. Someone they are writing simply Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, uh, here China, here Pakistan, not necessary. Which one they ask, that one you have to write. Only that point you have to show and there only you have to write the name. And the multipurpose railway project like this, and the mountain with the triangle, mountain range with the, like this or shade and the places with the into mark or plus mark. And river, sometimes they will ask river, Narmada, river Narmada if they ask, see river valley project and river different, river, Narmada river, it is coming like this and you have to show the delta also. Here Vindhya mountain, here Satpura mountain, between that it is coming. And someone they what they do, for example, river Kaveri, they will show only like this. It should not disappear here. And someone show like this, they will go into the sea. No, it's also wrong. So you have to show up to the border and there you have to show the delta. This is the method to show the river. Yeah, this is and another one, instead of asking a river name, they may ask. Uh, Sar of Bengal, they ask. You should know what is uh, Sar of, which river is Sar of Bengal. The river Damodar, Sar of Bengal. You should know that. So, like that application is that one. Understanding level question is that one. In the map. So, this is about the map. So, study this one and get good marks. All the best. Thank you.